had somebody demonstrate glove gate and hit you with one of these these unofficial little gloves that you get from dicks from uh from target don't listen to them okay Hi, this is Joe Cortez. You're watching Showbiz The Adult. Oh, this is Bernard Hopkins, Showbiz The Adult. I'm out. Oops. Up off net? Up off net. What's up, my people? This is Showbiz The Adult. I man, look. <laughs> Sean Porter, he debunks. Love gate. Oops! Alright, man! Look! Let's get to the reaction. Oh, first, I wanna say this. I will be going live tomorrow, okay, for the horse racing. I'll be going live, doing some live stream commentary. But when I go live for horse racing, we all know it's a blast. We have fun, okay? And I will be giving away uh, a free account to betusracing.com forward slash showbiz. I'll be giving away a free account uh, with $250. I'll be uh, giving details on that uh, tomorrow. But as of right now, we're going to do a reaction. Oh! Uh, uh, I do want to say this. I do want to say this. If you can't uh, uh, listen to uh, Showtime Sean Porter, uh, a professional boxer, great boxer, who was under the same umbrella for uh, as Deontay the Bronze Palmer Wilder, both of them uh, 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 with the PBC. Uh, uh, he is best friends with Deontay Wilder. They're both friends. On top of that, he is no longer associated with the WBC, so he has no reason to cap for Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. Okay, if you can't listen to him, just hit the dislike button and go. Listen, for if you're somebody who has intestinal fortitude, can be open-minded and say, yo, I believe this, but let me hear Sean Porter out of all people. Okay, he has no reason to cap for Tyson Fury. Let me listen to him. If you're open-minded, then, yeah, stay, listen, make comments, you know, make your arguments, stuff like that. It's all good. Okay, let's get to the reaction. Showbiz the coffee. Black, two sugars. Yo, let me touch on this, and uh, I'll, I'll probably get going, keep going, but we'll see. Do you think Tyson Fury's gloves are suspect? That's from Isaiah Isaac. No, I don't. Um, I've sat in the room across from this man now twice. Um, I did an interview with him back in, like, I don't know when that was. I did an interview, I think it was in January with him. And then um, and then we, we did, you know, the, the pre-fight interviews and things like that. His finger length are that long. I am a welterweight, and I can't fit an eight-ounce glove. Mm. My hands are too big for eight ounce gloves. We gotta, we gotta pack them in. We gotta make them fit. We gotta do, what we gotta do. Mm. You see, the hand it looks like it's hanging off of his glove, and or excuse me, the glove looks like it's hang, hanging off of his hand. It also, I think there were some points of the fight where it looked like he was punching with his wrist. That's just how he fights. He. It looks like he was punching with his wrist because Sean Porter. No, he is not. He's a professional fighter. He knows that when you put your hand in the glove, okay, and you must have flesh here, your hand got to be all the way up here. You, at this point, you're punching with your wrist. At this point, you're punching with your wrist. If you're punching here, then there's space here. And then, you know, his fist, when you saw him laying back, you saw the flesh here. So he knows you got to be punching with, the, with your wrist, a point that I made a long time ago. Oh, and don't forget, don't ever, don't ever listen to anyone who talks about Glovegate and demonstrate with these. When you have the Velcro and they, soon as you see them talk about Glovegate and they throw this on, this isn't, these aren't official gloves, okay? Soon as you hear the Velcro, don't. Listen to someone who has these, the official glove, because it goes all the way up and you know that their hand got to be all the way in there. It has to be all the way in there to see the flesh, to see the skin at the top. As soon as, as soon as somebody demonstrate glove gate and hit you with one of these, these unofficial little gloves that you get from dicks, from, uh, from Target, 
Don't listen to him, okay? He, he flicks, he flicks his punches. He's not the kind of fighter that sits down until he got with, with uh, Sugar Hill, shout out to Sugar Hill, until he got with Sugar Hill. He's not a fighter that sits down on his punches, turns them over, and lands them directly. A lot of his punches, he flicks on the back end. He flicks on the back end. Remember when I was debucking Glove Gate and I said flick? Look how he flicking the jab, flicking the jab. Flick, 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 flicking the jab. Remember that? And it could very well be because he doesn't fit the gloves. I know that um, as, as, as big as my hands are and they're smaller than his, he, he, there's, it's, it's he's I'm sure he's more more than likely packing his hand into his glove yeah like I do and he punches the way that he punches I don't think that is, there was anything suspect about his gloves at all you take a look at his fight with uh with um Deontay Wilder this this first the second one then you take a look at the first one and take a look at any other fight that he's had it's the way that he punches he flicks his punches like that on the back end I'm not the one to say, I told you so. But, I told you so. And, and it, you know, it, again, when he's loose like that, it allows him to be fast. And this, t in this last fight, he added some, some power, some weight. And, um, and he, and he took out Deontay Wilder, but I don't think there was anything suspect about it. Now look. I want you guys to understand this, okay? Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder, in his interview, he had so many excuses. He had all these excuses. Excuses he didn't even want to bring up. But he never brought up the most popular excuse, which was this one, Glovegate. He never said a thing. He could have easily said something about it. He could have easily said, hey, look, and I think there was something up with his gloves. I was feeling uh, a knuckle somehow, okay? He said none of those things. Deontay Wilder, the one that you're capping for, he himself, he's not saying those things. Stop it. Glovegate was probably one of the most ridiculous things ever. Showbiz or don't. Hey, don't forget, uh, uh, come to my live stream tomorrow. If you like my reaction, please comment. I'm out. Huh.